I've got five beautiful black nail polish brands in front of me. Today I'm going to compare the difference in the brushes, the coverage, and the color. I'm Susie, let's get started. So I just went to Sally's and picked up these brands, and I did that so you can do it too. You can buy them right from Sally's. So let's try one at a time and see how they perform in the coverage. So the first one I have up is Orly. They make some beautiful polish colors. I love the lid. It's got a bit of a grip flex on there. I'll show you. See that grip? Just makes you can hang on. Actually, it just looks kind of rubbery, but it's not. So let's just see how that covers. So I'm just gonna get a bunch of my brush. I like the shape of the brush. Wow. Now I've got a glitter underneath, which is kind of cool because we'll be able to see how much of that glitter it's covering. just one coat. The brush is nice. It flows quite nicely. So the next one is finger paints. The stem of their brush is much wider, but the brush is quite nice too. But it seems a little bit more runny. Oh, and you can see that the coverage for one layer is not as strong. It's just one coat. So here's the Morgan Taylor. The brush is wider, but it's cut really nice. Oh, look at that coverage. That's literally like one coat. That is very solid, very black. There's no see-through ability on that at all. Sorry, my voice is a little hoarse. It's from my five-day class, and I'm talking a lot. That's very pretty. Okay, now this is the China Glaze. The brush is really tiny. I kind of like it if you have a small finger, but this isn't really a small finger. Oh, it's quite liquidy, you might say. Goes on really nice. That actually has really good coverage as well. Wow. So my last one is Nina. Okay, and it's got a very fat brush. But it's a nice brush, it's quite straight. Brushes are important to me. Wow. Okay, this one is a very blue tinge and it's actually quite a bit thinner. You can really see the difference. It's quite blue, which is very cool. And it's quite a bit thinner. There are designs where you do want a, actually a see-through kind of black. So that's actually pretty cool. Okay, well they went on quite beautifully and they look like they're all dried enough that I can put a second coat on. So the orally I'm gonna give a second coat if I want a solid black, I can see through to the glitter just a little bit, but not a lot. But if I want a solid black, I'm going to want to put a second coat on this. I find this the thickest of all of them. This uh, doesn't seem to flow as easily as the other ones did. Having said that, uh, I like Orly. I've used it and they have a lot of beautiful colors. A great selection. Okay, now I'm gonna try the finger paints. And you can see it is quite see-through. This one's the most see-through, which is the Nina. And this is the second, and this would be the third. These two cover amazing. So I'm gonna put a second layer of finger paints on my index finger. It's a little thicker in consistency too. So if you like a fingernail polish that's a little bit thicker, these two would be better. 
It just means they're a little bit easier to control, but you gotta get a fair amount on the brush that they, so it glides right on the nail. When it's a little runnier, it does that for you, but it can run a little bit more. That covered beautifully second coat. Absolutely gorgeous, flawless. Morgan Taylor. I'm gonna polish the second coat. You almost don't, well, not almost. You really don't need a second coat. It is really solid. But we're gonna do it because the other ones happen too. So if you're looking for a design real quick maybe and you don't want to put that second coat on, you don't have to with the Morgan Taylor. i get a little bit more on my brush. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, and the China Glaze, we're gonna do a second coat. That also has extremely good coverage. Not quite as solid as the Morgan Taylor, but pretty darn close. It's a little bit runnier too, flows beautifully. I wasn't used to it at first, I almost flooded the cuticle. Okay, and the last one, which is the Nina, and that was the one that was the most see-through. You could add a little bit of clear to it and get more of a see-through look like a stocking. But if we wanted to cover it completely, we're gonna to have to do two coats. So if you want a bit of a sheer look, this definitely is the one to look to. And it's a bit thicker in consistency. So I'm finding I'm having to get quite a bit on here to create a really flawless finish. But I have to say, it actually covered pretty good, but I put it on quite thick. So I didn't have to put these two on near as thick as I did this one to get that coverage. The second coats are all very beautiful, but you can see the different way of getting there. Lovely. Well, in all fairness, I could walk out and go about my day and nobody would tell that I used five different brands on my nails. They all measured up beautifully. We just had a little bit of a different journey to get there. Some are a little more see-through, but... They're absolutely gorgeous. So rest assured, you can go to Sally's or your regular store and pick up black nail polish and have beautiful, excellent coverage from five professional brands that you can buy at the store. Well, I didn't do a design yet, but they are too beautiful not to have a reveal shot. Cameraman, roll the reveals. This may inspire some designs. It's like a canvas I just can't avoid. <laughs> can't ignore that. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you guys in the next video.